Greetings Car Fanatics, today I'm going to show you how to change out your brake pads. This method will work for nearly any car. I'm going to be showing you on my 2008 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. So a few months ago I had new ceramic brake pads by TRW put on the car. However, they squeal like crazy. So today I'll be replacing them with these Techstar OEM spec brake pads. Let's look at the tools you'll need to change out your brake pads. You'll need wheel chocks to lift your car safely so it doesn't roll. You'll need a floor jack. I'm using my OEM jack to lift the car. Then I'll be using this jack stand to secure the car while it's up in the air. To help you remove the wheels and the brake caliper bolts, you can use an impact gun. I'll be using this 24 volt Goodyear impact gun, which can be purchased on Amazon for about 80 bucks. You'll also need a breaker bar and a torque wrench. And for your car, you'll need different size sockets. For my car, I'll need a 21 millimeter socket to take off the brake caliper bolts. I'll also need a 19 millimeter socket to take off my lug bolts. To help you remove the brake pads, you only need a flathead screwdriver. You also need a special brake pad spreader tool. This is going to allow you to push the brake pads and the pistons in your caliper back. So when you put on your new brake pads, you can actually get the brake pads around your brake rotors. When you put your brake caliper bolts back on, you'll need some Loctite. This will prevent your caliper bolts from loosening over time. You also want to have a tray to put your nuts and bolts in so you don't lose them. And finally, you need some gloves and eye protection to keep yourself safe. Alright, so the Cayenne Turbo has air suspension. You need to put it in the right suspension mode. So I have the car on, on. then we're going to hold this button over here for 10 seconds. All right, and that indicator right there that shows up on the screen signify that the car is in the right mode for you to lift it up. So now we can go ahead and start working on the brakes. All right, we're gonna start by turning the steering wheel all the way in the direction of the brake caliper you will be removing. This is going to allow you to have easier access to the brake caliper bolts. Back wheels. Then before we lift the car, we would just wanna chalk off the back wheels. So before we lift the car, we're going to loosen these lug nuts because once the wheel is in the air, when you try to loosen the lug nuts, the wheel is just going to rotate. It turns out I'm able to use my floor jack to lift up the car. It does go high enough. I'm using a hockey puck to jack up the car by the center cross member. I'm going to lower the jack very slowly. Afterwards, you want to just give the car a nice shake to make sure everything is safe to go. We're ready to remove the wheel and get the job started. Now this impact gun definitely makes removing the wheel a lot easier. Okay, so these are the wheel caliber bolts we need to remove. They're these big guys, 21 millimeter brake caliper bolts that are tightened to 200 foot-pounds. We have two of them. Now we are going to have to remove the cables and loosen up the brake lines, but I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. So first we're just going to remove this uh, brake sensor clip and you can do that just by using a screwdriver and that should come right out. So that's going to give you a little more slack when working with the brake caliper. So then you just want to remove this wire over here from the brake line and you can just use a flathead to undo this clip. So we got that clip off. We also want to get a little more slack in the brake line. So let me show you what we're going to do here. So this brake line goes up to the steering knuckle and we can simply unclip this from the bracket. Now it's time to remove the 21 millimeter brake caliper bolts. So I have the 21 millimeter socket with my breaker bar. That one's loose. Right. Time to get the bottom one. Got him out. All right, so now we're able to remove the brake caliper and this is going to give us access to the brake pads. So I'm gonna be using this string over here to tie up the brake caliper so it's not dangling by the brake line, which will damage the brake line. You definitely don't wanna do that. After you've got your knot, just give it a nice tug, make sure it's good to go. And now our brake caliper is not hanging by the brake line and we can 
take off these brake pads. Before we actually remove the brake pads, we're gonna take this spreader and we're simply going to open up the um, pistons inside. You have to do this because as the pads wear down, the pistons push the pads closer together. But if you put the new pads that are thicker and you don't push the pistons back, your new brake pads and your caliper will not fit over the rotor. So if you have topped off your brake fluid reservoir, this is a good time to keep an eye on it. You might have to suction out some brake fluid because as you push these pistons back, the brake fluid is going to um, back up into the reservoir. And if you topped it off while your brake pads are uh, worn and you decompress these brake pads, you will most likely have brake fluid coming out of your reservoir. Let's go ahead and just remove the old brake pads. You can just stick a screwdriver in and ply, pry gently and it's going to come out. We're going to do one at a time here and I'll show you how to take off the uh, brake pad sensor as well. All right, so you can see that there is a wire attached to this. Um, and to remove that, you're just going to take a screwdriver and pry it off. All right, so got the brake pad off. So normally I would recommend replacing the brake wear indicators, but in this case, I just put these in and I'm just simply switching out the brake pads because these make a ton of noise. Uh, so we will reuse all of the hardware and the brake wear indicator. So now that we have one brake pad out, let's remove the final side. Um, but before we do that, we can actually remove the sensor uh, from this one pretty easily. Okay, that's off. And now our brake pad is out. Now we're going to put in the new brake pads. And Porsche actually doesn't recommend you use any type of brake grease or anything uh, on the new brake pads. So we're not going to do that. We're simply going to put the new pads in. And after we get the brake pads in, we'll reconnect the brake wear indicators. Okay, we have our brake pads in. We can put the caliper back over the brake rotor. All right, so our brake calipers are on. Let's just go ahead and reconnect the sensors. So all you have to do is take your little sensor here and push it into the brake pad. And it should click when you got it right. All right, one's in. Let's get the next one. Okay, got both of them in. Now let's reconnect this brake wear indicator wire back. So we're gonna do everything in reverse. We also need to clip our brake line back. So that was pretty simple. Let's just put back on our 21 millimeter brake caliper bolts. So before you put your bolts back, you wanna take your Loctite, put a liberal amount. That should be good. All right, now we're gonna take our torque wrench and set it to 200 foot pounds. And let's go ahead and just finish this up. All right, Car Fanatics, I took a little detour and I touched up the brake calipers and cleaned them up. I'll post a video uh, separately on how to do that, so keep an eye out for that. Be sure to torque your lug bolts to 118 foot-pounds. Alright Car Fanatics, now it's time to test out the brakes with my OTRW brake pads. They would always squeal, it was so annoying. Now let's go ahead and apply the brakes as we approach the stop sign and see if there is any noise. Woo! Perfectly quiet. 
So as you can see in this video, it's not terribly hard to change out the brake pads on a Porsche Cayenne Turbo. My particular Cayenne, the 2008, has the most difficult calipers out there. And even then I was able to change out the brake pads in about 45 minutes per side, which isn't bad at all. Well there you have it Car Fanatics. If you're interested in finding these parts or tools, take a look at my description below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments below.